Hi all, in this session, I am going to discuss about procedural continuous assignments. So in last session, I have discussed procedural statements, right? There we have two types, blocking and non-blocking assignments. So here also we have some types, we will see what it is, okay? First we will understand what is procedural continuous assignments. So as the name suggests, it is used to drive the net and regular data type variables uh, like in continuous assignments are used to drive the net type variable and procedural statements are used to drive uh, reg type variable so this procedural continuous assignments are used to drive both the net type and reg type variables so here one thing you have to remember is it is used to drive both the data types net and reg for a certain period of time by overriding the existing assignments. Suppose you assign some value to that um, types net or reg type, it can be override for a amount of time, okay, for a small time period by using the procedural continuous assignments. Here we have two types one is assign and de assign, another one is force and release. We'll see how this assign and de assign force and release works okay these are all keywords we use to assign the values so here first one is assign and de assign keyword so one thing you have to remember in this assignment is uh, this first type assign and de assign keywords are used for reg data type only okay this is not used for net type this is only used for reg type and that force and release it can be used for both the types okay i will discuss later so first we will see assign and de assign okay so it controls reg type variable values by overriding existing procedural assignments for a limited time period all are for limited time period only this is not permanent this is for a limited time period okay so it controls only reg type variable values by overriding the existing procedural assignments for a limited time period and after the execution of the de assign state statement another procedural or procedural continuous assignment can change the variable value once again till then the previous value can hold what it means is first you uh, will assign the values by using the assign keyword right so after the execution of the d assign uh, statement only another procedural or procedural continuous assignment can change the variable value once again otherwise till then it holds the previous value whatever the value is there that value only uh, it will it will hold that value only okay so this is the uh, these two points you have to remember okay uh, you will understand once we go to the code okay i'll show you everything so first uh, these are all about assign and de assign keyword so we will execute the code in a eda playground with the help of assign and de assign keyword okay so in module i'm giving the name assign de assign okay in in my assign de assign module i'm declaring the reg type variable let it be 4 down to 0 okay d D means data so here I am taking initial begin loop so if you have multiple statements you can use begin and right you have to use begin and end so here what I am doing is first I am using display statement to display the values dollar monitor I am taking okay why it is dollar monitor means if any changes happen to the inputs we can see the output okay here I am taking time is equals to percentile 0 t d is equals to percentile 0 d and we will print the time and data values so first what i am doing is normally i am using the procedural assignments how we assign the values to the procedural statements by equal symbol right whether it is blocking or non-blocking so d equals to 5 initially it has a 5 as, as 0 simulation time okay here no timing so this 0 time d is 5 after uh, 25 nanoseconds d i'm assigning sorry 15 value okay 15 value i'm assigning and this is uh, one initial block and here what i'm doing is 
I will take another initial block. Okay, you know that all initial blocks execute at the zero simulation time only. It may be two or five. Okay, all initial blocks execute zero simulation time only. So here, what I am doing is after five nanoseconds, I will assign the value to the D by using the assign keyword. So because I want to override it, right? Override these values. So I I am using assign keyword. D is equals to ten. Okay. So again after five nanoseconds. So you know that this is for limited time, right? We can override the values by using the procedural assignments for a limited time. So after five nanoseconds, I am deassigning the value. D assign D. Like this, you have to write. First, by using the assign keyword, you are assigning ten value, and after five nanoseconds, you are deassigning that value. So here I will take on display statement. Okay. Anyway, I have taken monitor. It will show the any changes made to the variable. Okay. So here what why I am taking dollar display because I am deassigning the value. So we have to understand uh, what happens. Okay. So. After D assign, okay. Now I'll run the code. Okay, you can see right. At time t is equals to zero, my initially d at zero simulation time d is five. After five nanoseconds, here it goes to here second initial block. At five nanoseconds, we are assigning ten values to the d by using the assign keyword. So d value is ten. After five nanoseconds means at ten time, ten nanosecond. What I am doing? I am displaying this statement. Because I am deassigning the value, right? So I am taking one display statement. So at 10 nanoseconds, you are seeing the display statement after deassign. So what is the value after the deassignment? It is holding the previous value. So I told you that in reg type variable, after the execution of the deassign statement, it will hold the previous procedural value. Procedural or procedural continuous assignments. Okay. So here we have used the procedural continuous assignments. It holds the this. A uh, ten value only in reg type variable. Okay, so here it holds. Second one is force and release. In assign and deassign keyword, I told you that it is only used for reg type variable, right? Uh, it cannot be used to drive a net type variable. So this force and release is used for both the net and reg type variable. We will see how it is. Okay. So first thing is. It controls the net and reg data type variable values by overriding existing procedural continuous or procedural continuous assignments for a limited time period. Okay, it is also the statement is same for all the types, whether it is assign, deassign, force and release. It is uh, the main thing purpose is like it is used to override the existing procedural or continuous values only for a limited time period. Okay. In force and release, we can see the two different cases. So the after the execution of the release statement, we can see the different cases. If it is a reg type or uh, net type, okay. So after the execution of the release statement, if we are using the reg type variable, first you you used to um, assign a value by using the force keyword. After the release statement, after the release statement, if you are using the reg type variable. Another procedural or procedural continuous assignment can change the variable value once again. Till then, the previous value can hold. That means a force on a register overrides any procedural assignments or procedural continuous assignments on the register until the register is released. Okay. So that means uh, the register variables will continue to store the forced value after being released, but it can be then changed by a Future procedural assignments. Okay, you will understand in the code. Once we go to the code, I will execute this. That time you will be 
understand so uh, you keep it my keep it in mind that for if it, if it is a reg type variable another procedural or procedural continuous assignment can change the variable value till then the previous value can hold okay what if it is a net type variable in net type variable the value of the previous continuous assignment returns after the execution of release after the execution of the release statement uh, it will not hold the posted value it holds previous continuous assignment value will be retained okay so force on net overrides any continuous assignments until the net is released okay uh, the net will immediately returns to its normal driven value when it is released okay okay we will go to the code you will understand better so we will see how force and release works okay I'll take the same code. Here one changes. We are doing force and release, right? So I'm changing the model name force and release. So here I'm taking already reg type is there. I'm taking one net type okay net type means wire hold down to zero so we'll take d1 and d2 let it be d1 and d2 okay initial begin look what i'm doing time t d1 is equals to percentile 0 d d2 is equals to percentile 0 d so d1 comma d2 okay before that what i'm doing is first i will assign the value for the net type for net type how we will do assign keyword right continuous assignment assign d2 is equals to one value that will be 5 okay In initial begin block what i'm doing d1 this is normal procedural statements right by using the blocking assignments so here i'll change the value 6 okay after 25 nanoseconds I am changing the value 15 d1 value okay same as in assign statements only so this is the second initial begin block here what I am doing is at 5 nanoseconds first I will take one display statements okay to see the changes so I will copy this only control c okay time here applying force d1 is equals to percentile 0 d d2 is equals to percentile 0 d so here d1 comma d2 okay what i am doing force forcing the value to the variables right so you have to use force keyword force d1 is equals to 10 is there so control c control v force d2 both reg and net data type i am assigning the value by using the force keyword so 10 and 11 after that after 5 nanoseconds what i am doing now i will release okay this statement i will use here only so I have to check right okay here only hash fine in a second I am releasing so release release d1 release d1 and release d2 okay I am releasing after forcing the values, I am releasing D1 and D2. Here I am displaying after release. I am printing D1 and D2 values. Okay. We will see how the output is.
okay at the zero simulation time time t is equals to zero here for d1 we are assigning six value right so d1 value is six d2 value is five because here by using the assign keyword we are assigning the values to the continuous treatments so d2 is equals to five six and five we got applying the force here i am in initial begin loop what i am doing second initial begin loop i am applying the values i am forcing the values to the d1 and d2 for a limited time right so for c d1 and d2 values at 5 nanoseconds d1 is 10 and d2 is 11 so it overrides we know that this procedural continuous assignments are used to override the values okay so it overrides previously we have 5 and 6 now it is 10 and 11 okay after 10 nanoseconds means here after hash 5 hash 5 means what it is adding the time right one initial wait okay yes see here after 5 nanoseconds means 5 5 10 at 10 nanoseconds we are releasing the forced values that means if it is a reg type what i have told you if it is a reg if it is a reg type the register variable will continue to the store the forced value after being released right see hash 10 nanoseconds here you can see the statement this uh, uh, display statements after release d1 is equals to 10 d2 is equals to 5 that means if it is a reg data type variable it can be hold the previous value means forced value d1 is equals to 10 you can see after release right but see the net type variable d2 is equals to 11 here you got previously forced value is 11 for the net type variable after releasing what you can see d2 is equals to 5 which this is what value this 5 value is previously assigned value right is previously continuous assignment value i told you that in uh, net if it is a net type variable you can see the previous continuous assignment value not the forced value right so this is the difference between force and release like uh, not force and release this is the difference you can see in reg type and uh, net type variable so here you can see that i'm printing the same value because here i have used monitor right so at time 10 uh, time 10 you can see the value 10 and 5 okay and time 25 again at 25 nanoseconds i told that this is for limited time period only for limited time period we can override the values this is not the entire it is not entire simulation okay this is for limited time period so hash 25 nanoseconds you can again uh, change the values for d1 is equals to 15 see d1 is equals to 15 and d2 is equals to 5 values only so previous value is 5 so uh, the now current value is also 5 you can see right only difference is the depends on the data type which you used if it is a reg type variable it holds the previous procedural or continuous value or um, if you use the uh, if you assign the values by using the procedural statements or procedural continuous statements that value it will take if it is a net type variable it will hold the previous continuous assignment value only okay not the forced value okay this is the difference so hope you understand and you also practice with uh, taking another example okay thank you bye